Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. What we're going to look at in this video is something that I really, really, really like about the Grandstream UCM. Now, if you're a UCM administrator, if you, um, whether you own the UCM, whether you are a consultant and you help people with their UCMs, people make changes, right? And you'll get a call. Ring, 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 ring. Hey, uh, our UCM just started doing X, Y, and Z. I don't know what happened. And you log in and you just, you get this sneaking suspicion that something happened. Well, how can you tell? How can you tell if someone has been in the USG tinkering around? Well, here we are. We're at my uh, 6302. Now, if you go uh, to maintenance and you go to operation log, the operation log is one of the greatest logging tools available. So you can see I've got 428 pages. I mean, maybe you can see this. I don't know if I'm blocking it or not. Every change that is made to the system, every change is logged in here. So if you ever have any questions about whether or not someone or or something change something in the system go into maintenance and operation log and it will show you everything and you can download it um you can do a search so there's a display filter up here so you can do time date you can do ip version 4 ip version 6 address so you can see where admin logged in from 192.168.66.33 that's me in peoria illinois so you can start filtering now every um, every user that's going to administer a grand stream system or any system, in fact, this is best practice for multiple systems, not just the grand stream system. Every administrator, every user should have a unique username and password. You should not be sharing usernames and passwords. And it's because of beautiful functions like this operation log that, that you need to see who was doing what. So, However many admins you have, they all need their own admin account. Uh, users need their own accounts. And then the logging all comes together. The other thing that is important with logging is making sure that your time is correct. And so we'll look at that in another video. But the operation log is, it is such a, a piece of, of art. Um, I can't even, I can't even, explain how many times we found goofy things that have gone wrong or an administrator went in and didn't do something right. So get to know this operation log and uh, love it the way that we do and make sure you give us a thumbs up for this video. Please subscribe, please comment and share. Please let me know if you have questions about the operation log down below. Also uh, down below are all of our affiliate links, our Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, whether it's for voiceover IP uh, whether it is, um, you know, for for networking, security, storage, VoIP, Grandstream, whatever. WillieHow.com. Click hire us or fill out the contact form and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. Make sure you check out your operation logs. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.